BSA L27 for sale on eBay. <clears throat> in the paper book, the bike has uh, the, there's loads of stuff here. There's um, all the stuff going back from the beginning of the restoration as to sort of to where it is now. Um, old sort of pictures and information and that kind of thing. There are two boxes <coughs> of information on the bike for that. Um, looking around the bike, um, it has accessory lighting fitted to it. You can see on here it's got the acetylene cylinder. But there are no rubber tubes going up to the lights and I don't know whether the lights are completing themselves or not. I think you really need to sort of connect it up and try and find out whether it's all there or not. So there's that. You see the rear light there. The angle of the rear light isn't quite right. The bracket on the um, on the light fitting itself doesn't allow the light to point straight backwards. So that needs some kind of modification to make that work. Um, the front light kind of it kind of looks complete, but I don't actually know how you light the thing either. Do you, you light it with a match or something, or what you do? But anyway, there's that. Um, some of the nuts and bolts around the bike aren't as tight as they should be. I notice this nut here is not exactly done up tight, um, but it's not kind of finger tight either. There's that I've noticed. There's also um, on the rear mudguard a couple of these bolts here are not as tight as they could be. So there are little jobs like that to do around the bike if you wanted to sort of put it into action. There's a few scratches and marks. There's kind of one there. Um, the bike was restored some years ago and there are sort of marks appearing again on it now which is just as a result of being left sitting around really. Um, the last owner who did most of the restoration or all of the restoration on the bike mentioned that the um, rear sprocket holes are a bit elongated. Um, because I was going to put a sidecar on it he thought it wise to point out that um, that might want sorting out because you might get a bit of movement on there when you're accelerating and deaccelerating. Anyway, I never fitted the sidecar on it and I ran out of enthusiasm for that. I couldn't find a sidecar and I doubted whether the bike had enough power anyway to pull it. Um, there is a sidecar fitting there. I think it would be suitable for pulling a small trailer with sort of tools or something like that in the sidecar, but nothing of any great weight in it, I wouldn't have thought. So there we go. Um, the rest of the information is in the, uh, in the listing there, so good luck with the bidding.